Hearing yourself while performing or rehearsing is obviously pretty important. If you can't hear yourself or can't hear the people you're performing with, it's really hard to play your best. So we use wedges and IEMs to hear ourselves on stage. In this video, we look at wedges, which are speakers for the performers. Then we see how subwoofers can be added to a wedge, which is commonly done for drummers. And we see how an app lets us control the monitor mixes from stage using a smartphone. When we say monitors, we are talking about the part of the audio system that covers the performers, either on stage or at a rehearsal. This includes both the wedges, which are actual speaker enclosures, and IEMs, which can be custom molded to your ears. And for larger productions, we have a separate monitor console and monitor engineer who focuses specifically on the sound for stage. And these setups can get super, super complex. But in many situations, for live music, we are just using wedges, and of course, this works perfectly fine. And for a really easy solution, we can use powered speakers like the CP12s I have here. I have two mixes set up in the room, one for a vocal mic, the speakers on the floor, and the drum mix back there. But if we needed more volume for the vocal mic, we could actually daisy chain two of these CP12s together and get even more volume. Now, one thing to think about when using two wedges for vocal mics the polar pattern of your microphone does interact with the placement of the wedges. So if you have a hypercardioid or supercardioid mic, aligning the wedges this way can be more effective. But with a cardioid mic, we get the most rejection from directly behind the mic, so a wedge positioned there can be helpful to avoid feedback. We can also add a subwoofer to a wedge to boost the low frequencies, and this is really common to do for drums, especially with loud drummers. In here, I'm daisy chaining the CP12 to the KS112 powered sub, which helps me hear low end stuff like the kick drum or bass guitar. Or if you're using IEMs, you could just use a sub without any wedge, which is pretty common to do. This gives you the benefit of hearing the IEMs right in your ears, but also lets you feel the low frequency energy from the subwoofer. In-ear monitors have become super popular for a lot of professional musicians and the ability to get a super clean mix right in your ears is a game changer for a lot of people. However, since IEMs are fed with the mixing console, you quite often have to communicate with an audio engineer and then rely on them to make adjustments to your mix. But these days, more and more musicians are using the self-mixing capabilities like we find here on the TouchMix with the TouchMix app. Now, this is incredibly useful and you can actually be in your position on stage or in your rehearsal space and make adjustments to your mix with your smartphone. This can be way easier than running back and forth to a console or asking someone else to adjust the mix for you. I mean, this kind of usability makes things really, really easy. And if you can really dial in your mix, whether it's wedges or IEMs, it makes playing music way more fun. In this video, we talked about wedges and subwoofers, and we talked about how we can use an app to control monitor mixes from stage.